I we have two gyms. I don't <laughs> really, exactly. I mean, why do we need another one? I mean, mm-hmm. I've been in there, but I've never used the actual facilities. I just feel like it's nice to look at. I, I don't see a great need for that area. They can definitely find room to downsize for sure. Yeah, it, it seems like the money sort of went for show. In 2005, Measure A was passed by 64% of the voters. The measure granted the San Mateo Community College District the authorization to issue $468 million in bonds for reconstruction, repairs, earthquake retrofitting, and other educational purposes across the three colleges of Cañada College, Skyline, and College of San Mateo. There are a couple of design things that we're trying to do. One, reacquaint the community with this campus. Two, create a lot of student-friendly collaboration type space and very, very inviting for students so that our students really do want to hang around. And, and the third is really to, um, even though we have a broad mission, to make this place look and feel like a four-year institution. Yeah. And that was a real deliberate design intent. We wanted to make this place feel special. And, and we're, we're seeing a difference. I think students are proud of it. I think that they're very happy to be here and, and to what Mike just said. that So one of the things we were wondering when we opened the building in April of 2010 was how fast it was going to take, the 2011, sorry, how fast it was going to take the students to actually start to call it home. It was instantaneous. Like we were shocked at how days. fast, <laughs> how fast everybody had found it and was up there. And it really has become the living room yeah. of, of this college campus. Now it's more expensive for us. Yeah, we have these nice things, but it's like now we can't even come to college anymore. We can't come here to see them. <laughs> we just have to go along with sort of what's happening and but. deal with it, or be expected to deal. I think we need money in more useful places, though. The controversy is very much after the fact in terms of our process. Our process is to come in, design, understand what the needs are, enable the builder to appropriately build the building, and then the controversy you know, happens later, and that's based on more on operational issues than anything else. And candidly, it's, it's again not really our place to kind of interject ourselves into what becomes essentially a, a lot of rhetoric. But there kind of remain kind of these these central vocational and training departments that constitute the bulk of the building. If you are not studying in nursing program, you don't have tremendous need to go in the building. And so, so the building is it houses in its entirety the nursing program, in its entirety the dental assisting program, in its entirety the dental hygiene program, and in its entirety the cosmetology program. So if you are in any one of those programs, you spend all your time exclusively in this building. Now, as far as the fitness center and club goes, it's really not my place to judge kind of the operational intent for the school. I imagine the school acts in their own best interest, which includes the best interests of their students, and I'm sure that's the case. We're doing more and more things that can be seen as competing with the local community in order to survive because there isn't money coming from the places that the money usually came from. And it's interesting that they focus just on the fitness center. It's the fitness center that's competing with local businesses. Well, I run bookstores that sell all sorts of stuff that compete with local businesses. We have members of the community that come up here and eat in in the beautiful dining rooms that we have. Uh, We have members of the community that come up and instead of maybe going to a movie, come and see a show at the planetarium. We've got a theater here that puts on productions and whatnot that draws people from the community. So, I mean, there's, there's all sorts of things that we do up here that if you want to scrutinize it, that someone could say, oh yeah, you're competing with us in, in, in town. Yeah. I, I don't, I don't really think it's a, a valid comparison to say that that's what we're doing. The only thing that I think is different, and it is different, and it's something that we knew was different when uh, when we went down this road, is that community colleges generally don't do what yeah, we've done. that's right. 